the patient and introduce yourself. Confirm the patient's identity by asking for his or her name and checking the armband. Explain the procedure and ask whether the patient has allergies, concerns or questions. Obtain verbal consent from the patient to perform the procedure. Disinfect your hands. Put on non-sterile gloves when necessary, for example, in the presence of body fluids or blood, or where the healthcare worker's skin is not intact. Check the prescription for the five R's. Right patient, right drug, right dose, right route, and right time to ensure that the patient receives the right medication. Check the medication for the expiry date. Clean the top of the vial with the alcohol swab. Assemble the blunt needle and syringe. Remove the needle cap. Use the blunt needle to draw up the required amount of medication from the vial. Ensure that there are no bubbles and expel air from the syringe. Activate the safety mechanism of the blunt needle and remove the blunt needle. Assemble a new sharp safety needle for injecting the patient. Remove the needle cap. Ensure that the medication fills up the needle shaft. On the patient, divide the dorsogluteal region into four quadrants. This is to avoid injuring the patient's sciatic nerve, which could lead to serious complications. Clean the upper outer quadrant with the alcohol swab and let the site dry. Stretch the skin at the site. Insert the needle into the outer upper quadrant at a 90 degree angle. Support the needle and aspirate briefly to ensure that the needle tip is not in a blood vessel. Inject the medication with a slow steady pressure. Withdraw the needle and place a cotton wool ball over the site. Immediately discard the needle and syringe as a single unit into the shot container. Cover the patient. Post procedure. Thank the patient and ensure their comfort. Discard all used medical waste into the red bin and discard any used general waste into the clear transparent bin. Remove your gloves. Disinfect your hands with disinfectant. Document the procedure.